guys breathe out here in this video I'll talk about a build I made for I know not long ago I revamped it re changed it a little bit as I always do with my builds always try to find the best configuration till now the best config I found for him is taking up as much strength as you can and just stack up that iron skin once you have your iron skin you're simply invincible all right so let's go into his abilities before we go into the build his first ability is rhino charge he rushes into an enemy and kind of ragdolls them away in the direction he charged into this ability has a combo window which is affected by duration in which the more you use it the less energy it'll cost and the more damage it has simple combo window like Axcal and Alice both of them have also Valkyr with her first ability this is common for first abilities um, it's affected by range and I don't know what speed means I guess speed is affected is an effect from nothing simply not changing just like the time and vulnerable which brings us to his second ability iron skin this is his safe ability in which he envelops himself and becomes uh, immune to all damage it's affected by strength and armor so take that in mind roar roar is rhino's buff ability it grants increased damage for a set duration which is affected by your duration it's affected also by strength which is the damage multiplier and cast range the cast range is an area of effect this affects allies as well so rhino is a team player rhino stomp is his crowd control ability which is affected by strength duration range and I, I don't know what the speed decrease is affected by, I guess, same with the uh, in, time and vulnerable and the speed things. The damage affects the damage they get once, they, when, once it hits them. And the duration affects how long they stay in the air. The range is, you know, range. That's, th those are her abilities. Rhino is overall a very solid Warframe, has crow control, buff, he has self protection, and damage. Now into his build. In his build I decided to swap the steel charge with corrosive projection, which in my opinion is much much better. Uh, power drift for strength and chance to resist knockdown. It goes well with Blind Rage and Transient Fortitude. We have his um, Armor Mod, Steel Fiber, and we have Vitality, both for base survivability. Rage and Prime Flow consist his um, Energy Reserves, which as you can see my efficiency is really low. I think it's the lowest the efficiency can go. And <clears throat> because of this, you need to have rage and flow. Also, for a pro build, you really should have Zenoric because Zenoric is how you'll survive more with Rhino. But you can have this set up too with rage and front flow. Okay, two augment mods in one build. This is how I go Ironclad Charge and Reinforcing Stump. Ironclad Charge is for making your base armor higher since I removed um, agil uh, armored agility and swapped it with reinforcing stump and reinforcing stump what it does is lets you replenish your overall armor uh, the iron skin health that is and it's really excellent since your efficiency is really low so you'll have to go um, <coughs> So you have to go as conservative as possible. So you just have to focus on making your iron skin once, and 
then you're set. You just need to avoid nullifiers and you're set with your build. Now for the weapons I suggest you to take with Rhino, which is something I'm going to do mostly from now on. The Ack Magnus, I really started to like this weapon, or any other fast shooting weapons like Axolito, Azima, or I don't know, Hiko even. Just any weapon that shoots, shoots really fast to take down nullifiers. For the melee weapon, I suggest you take Hyrudo, even though I told you Legion was a very great uh, pick. The Hyrudo is excellent since you don't have to waste any energy and yeah just you just have to hit enemies with your melee abilities and since you have the fast shooting weapon to take care of the nullifiers for you you have no problem with staying up close and personal with enemies. For the primary weapon the Secure Electa which is still in building progress for me but I really used to love this weapon I got self killed a lot using this but if you have the rhino skin the iron skin you probably won't die from this and by probably I mean if you stack up your armor as you should you won't die alright so let's jump into the build into the I mean presentation of the build to completely um, fix it up and instead of taking only bombards boom then iron skin hit me yeah fell down and yep my armor is pretty solid right now activate 4 replenish armor and boom iron charge what ironclad charge does is it gives you extra armor per enemy hits it gives you 50% more armor for each enemy you hit and it can stack up now as you can see I just hit enemies I don't even have to swap to my melee weapon boom activate again rage save me up and yeah you don't even have to swap to your Hyrudo in order to get the extra health or the health regen that is all you have to do is hit enemies and if you're up and the void fighting against some uh, you know corrupted enemies then you can just do this against the nullies and you're pretty much saved you don't really have to do any much with rhino with this build all you have to do is just have fun enjoy yourself and melee a lot <laughs> which is in my opinion one of the best uh, things you can do in Warframe, just melee fight and iron skin again. You don't even have to take care of the iron skin much. Just in the start of a game, make sure you won't be hit much by enemies, or else you're uh, oh, and yeah, I'm up again. Enemies are mostly down. This build is pretty solid in most, if not all high-end missions I uh, suggest you to use this build with weapons that have lifesteal weapons that shoot really fast to take down the nollies and if you want a very strong primary weapon to you know have as much damage as you can <clears throat> yeah you don't need much you, you don't even need a lot of duration with Rhino even on his uh, crowd control stun the reason I decided to take as much as as many different enemies as I did is to show you how good he deals with corrupted bombards with melee units with um, enemies that have really really fast weapons that shoot out really high bursts this build works this build really works with against those enemies <clears throat> as you sh as you saw you don't even have you don't really need to have um, uh, a lot of experience in this game to know that this build can save you a lot the iron skin in this build is very crucial I mean you could go building um, 
a crowd control rhino or only an ironclad rhino which is okay I guess but I prefer just activating the iron skin once build it up and then take care of the rest of the game in the senior locker room for um, <coughs> unfortunately it's kind of difficult to, to show it but once you play as him in a regular mission you'll see the differences between this simulacrum room and the missions themselves also one more thing that I really have to show you is arcane guardian which is really really excellent on Rhino what whenever you take damage whether it be shields or health you'll get you'll have a 20% chance for 60% armor for 20 seconds and this thing works every time it's like even if those 20 seconds are not over yet it will replenish itself for 20 seconds again it will not stack up for like 30 or 40 seconds it'll stay 20 seconds but it'll refresh up every uh, it'll have a chance to refresh every time it will not stack up with uh, iron skin only if it hits your shield or health which is excellent like really excellent if you manage to activate iron skin after arcane guardian is activated you'll have an even stronger iron skin so this is my pro build for Rhino, I really hope you enjoyed it, if you like this video please leave a like in the, in the video and subscribe for more builds, I'm making, those, I'm making these videos <clears throat> every time I can whenever the internet is not jacked up, well, have a good day.